Hey, Driving Intelligence, another quick tip for you that for those of you that have a, um, a failure with your ABS system, I had a, a C1145, which indicates a right wheel sensor failure. Um, there's some tests on that to find out what the problem is. I'd actually put a new sensor on, a uh, sensor wire, and it failed too soon to me. So I, uh, I wanted to figure out how to test this. When you pull the lead apart, it's very difficult to uh, to put uh, a test probe in there, a test meter. So I went to uh, IKQ, or you can go to one of your local pick and pulls, pick and pays, and uh, if they let you, you can cut the lead off of the the wiring harness, which is the other end of uh, of the sensor that goes to your wheel. Um, I'm going to turn this into a uh, a test lead so that I can pull it off and test. The voltage as I spin the wheel and the resistance of the uh, of the of the current uh, sensor. I've made two test leads after going to a pick and pull junkyard. This end goes to the the speed sensor on the wheel for the ABS. I clipped it off and uh, put two lugs on here so I can check resistance and voltage. And in this end, I'm not sure what I'm going to check here, but this at least will go to the uh, to the ABS sense or the ABS pump with the ABS system. Uh, this side plugs in. You can see it makes it a lot easier to plug this in and use your multimeter on this versus trying to feed into this to get any kind of voltages or resistances. First test, I'm going to check the sensor by checking resistances and uh, speed voltage. Make sure that the speed sensor is producing voltage as I rotate the wheel. As a side note, I am putting some 2009 to 2012 F-150 rims on this and this is just a test fit. I've set the multimeter to AC voltage uh, because that's the way the voltage will come across on the sensor. Now I'll rotate the wheel, and you can see that I am getting a voltage reading off the wheel. Next, I'm going to check resistance across this, and 450 ohms is the appropriate resistance that you should be getting on a speed sensor. I've connected the other end of my test lead that goes to the ABS module and motor. <clears throat> and the only thing I think I can check is to make sure that I am getting resistance. Here I'm getting 3,700 ohms. I can't find any reference to see what that should be, but at least I do have a uh, circuit here. If I had an open line, then I would have a problem. So the only thing left for me to do at this point is to replace the wheel speed sensor with an extra one I've got to see if that corrects the problem and turns off my ABS light. So what are the test results? I uh, just got back from a test drive after a little hike and uh, with my trusty guy Abe, he's sitting in the background. And uh, turns out that replacing the cable resolved the ABS light, so my codes are gone. And this is confusing for me since I tested the ABS uh, wheel speed sensor and it tested fine for resistance and voltage. I'll post a link below uh, for the ABS cable and sensor on Amazon. It's very cheap, so uh, that's uh, an easy fix for any of you that have the, uh, the same codes that I've indicated in this video. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe, and if you have any questions for driving intelligence, please list them in the comments below.